But if I have a cell phone, and I ask your professional opinion on this, and I was going to talk on it like this, or if I could use this device here, which I plug into it, and then put this in my ear, like this, and hold this away from me, and I could talk here, there's my little microphone here. Uh, in your advice, which would be best for me to do? My understanding is that the position that you're holding the phone now is preferable to up against your head. Preferable to holding it up to your ear. So you would advise people who might be using cell phones as a precaution, because we don't know the weight, but if they can do this, they would be better to have some kind of device like this. As I understand it, yes. Now, as opposed to a Bluetooth. Now, a Bluetooth is an electronic device, and it still receives the uh, electromagnetic, electromagnetic low-frequency radiation, unlike this, which just comes through a line. So would this be better than, say, a Bluetooth-type device? Well, I, I must admit I do not own a Bluetooth. I was under the assumption that the Bluetooth technology was what you're describing, but I'm incorrect. That is not Bluetooth. No. No, this is, this is wired. This Sorry. is through a wire, a copper wire. Sorry. Bluetooth is something that would receive from this device to a Bluetooth without any connection whatsoever. And therefore, you would still get the uh, radio frequencies uh, right near your head, even when you talk into the microphone on a Bluetooth you're getting the transmission very close to your brain. And on this, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, down here quite a ways away from... I stand corrected. Brains. But you would say this would be preferable? Yes. To, to, use a, to use that kind of device? Yes. I'm going to ask the same question of the other panelists that come up. I'd like to see what, what they say, too. Um, Okay, well, thank you very much, Dr. Booker. We have to move on. Thank you very much for your expert testimony, and thank you for the work you do at the, at the, uh, at the National Toxicology Laboratory.